Welcome back to Fun and Sun Fishing. We're at the location where we did our last creek exploration. So we don't say creek in this household, we say crick, right? Yeah. Actually, sure. the, the last video we uh, filmed here at this crick, everyone tore us up in the comments. I think Dave at Hunting Farmer was like the only one who had our back. Even Don at Bucktails Outdoors was giving us grief and usually Don's on our side. So we are here to do some crick fishing today, guys, except we have a very specific mission and a very specific species in mind. We're going fall fish. Fall fish. So when we were here last time, we managed to catch some fall fish and a lot of y'all hadn't even heard of them before. So we got to digging around a little bit and we realized that specifically they're native here to the Northeast and they're also in Eastern Canada. They like little rivers or creeks that are fast flowing and have rock in them. And we also got some local intel from two of our favorite local channels, Adam at Adam Merhala Fishing and James at Lip Ripper 215. Okay, I messed up a little bit on those shout outs. First of all, it's Adam Mihara, not Adam whatever I just said in the video. I actually messaged Adam on Instagram to confirm pronunciation, but he was out fishing and didn't see my message until after we had filmed. So sorry about that. Now, Adam just hit 500 subscribers on his channel. So congratulations, buddy. And then it's Lip Ripper Fishing 215. Sorry about that, James. And James is getting up there in subscribers as well. So way to go, buddy. Now, both of these are awesome guys and they really know their stuff. And if you aren't already subscribed to their channels, please go check them out. Both of them in the comments and some conversations I've had with them filled me in on fall fish and gave me some pointers and information. And so after that discussion, we decided that not only do we want to catch them again, but we'd like to eat them as well. So we're gonna go catch a couple and do a little catch and cook for y'all. How about less talking, more fishing? All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. And we're here at the spot and Alex, tell the people what I have in my hand here. Uh, two spy lantern flies. And are they juveniles or adults? Adults. Or nymphs. Nymphs, were the, I think is the right term to use for the, the ones that we caught, remember? Yeah. A lot of people were surprised or thought it was cool that we use these as bait, but we have since fished with the adult stages, just we didn't film it. but we are gonna um, use some today on camera because they definitely catch fish. They are um, pesky little critters and they jump. And so they're hard to handle and put on the hook and they also don't stay on the hook really well, but the fish love them. And so if y'all are anywhere near us in Southeastern Pennsylvania, these are pretty uh, abundant. <laughs> and so definitely try to use some for fishing because it's free bait. Spotted lanternfly. Work your magic here. Well, we're gonna start out here and we're gonna work our way in. I think if you just cast it straight into the middle of this pool, you have a reasonable chance of catching one. Perfect. Do you have one? Oh, you got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it? That's a fall fish. Oh, really? That's a fall fish, I think. Awesome. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, wow. Yes, Alex. Good job, buddy. You bring it here right to me, right to me. Don't let him come off. <laughs> Don't let him come off. Okay. Wow, that was cool. Okay. Is it a big one? Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. This is perfect. Okay. Oh! Came off. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Okay. Oh my god, that was a close one. Okay, he came off, but we got him. Okay, gang, this is a fall fish. Okay, hopefully, I got a knife in here or something. Okay, let's, let's get him in the bag, get him on some ice. Okay. Look what I got, guys. It's a creek chub, actually. Come on, guys. This is a uh, this is a red breast sunfish. And one more editorial note. On the day we filmed this video, it was super hot out, and we had just eaten lunch. And Alex started to feel a little lightheaded. Now he felt better a few minutes later, but he took a break and sat by the bank and put his head down. And I know he didn't see me catch this red breast sunfish. So I decided to have a little fun and release the fish by throwing it right next to Alex. In the GoPro, it looks like a pretty far toss, but in reality, I knew I could throw the fish and land it safely in the water, but also pretty close to Alex. If you watch our channel, you know we have the utmost respect for animals, for nature, for conservation. So I just didn't want anyone to think I was being reckless with this release. Now that being said, Alex's response to this is hilarious. What? 
Dad, what do you do? Okay, we got a pesky bluegill. Oh, it's a red breast. Seriously? Seriously? Seriously, guys? The fish was born yesterday. All right, guys, I'm going to try one more lantern fly, and then we're, we're out of here, okay? I mean, we got what we came here for. Well, boys, I think that was among our most efficient fishing missions to date. We came here with a specific species in mind, and I think we got it on that, what, second cast, Alex? All right, so what do you say we meet them in the kitchen? Three casts, cast, maybe. Yeah, I think it was, you're right. And we are back in the kitchen. Now we boneless, skinless flay that fall fish. I think Viv, <laughs> do you want to say hi to the people? We got to, no, you, Viv, look this way. You want to say hi to Look, you, you got to look into the camera, Viv. Say hi, Vivi. Oh, say hi, Vivi. Say hi. I think Vivi wants some fish. We're going to have Chef Alex and Ryan show you how we do this. And then we're going to do the taste test. Okay, it's gonna go in the flour. Egg bath. Egg bath. Okay, then it's gonna go in the breadcrumbs. Is it all coated? It's all coated. Okay, there. Okay, Rye, real quick. All right. That looks so good. Oh yeah. In fact, we're gonna flip them over already. We're gonna give those like another 45 seconds and then we're all finished. Okay, so we're back here for the official taste test, which is here. So y'all, why don't you take a piece and tell me what you think. All the smooth. What do you guys think? Okay. I'm gonna put this down here so dad can actually have a piece here. Good. It is really good, isn't it? Wow. The meat's really good. I think it kind of tastes like catfish, which is delicious. So either I am like pretty much the best cook in the world, which I am, right? Uh, one and a half stars. Or fall fish is not too bad. So what'd you guys think? It's good. Should we do the Jeez. outro? Yeah. yeah, this is the outro. I know, but make it official because we have pizza in the kitchen we need to go eat. What should they do? Subscribe. And Alex, when should they do it? Right now. Right now. Peace out, friends. We'll see you soon. Peace out. Peace out. Wait, how do you do it? Peace out. <laughs> you know, recording right now, right? Uh, uh, All right. That truck, though, came by right when we were supposed to do our intro. What? You guys. What? We'll come back to Father and Son's Fishing. Go at the location. <laughs> Show some charisma. Yo! <laughs> Who's going to start it? You. I'm not going to do it. Welcome back to the Father's Son's Fishing, y'all. Boys, is there a fish on or not? I never know with you. All right, reel it in. It's impossible to tell when you have a fish on or not. All right. He's like, oh, I got one. While I have you fairly sane, can you please do the outro? One that we can use on video.